What's up everybody, I'm Josh from Stevie Foe and today we're going to do a bike check on my 2018 Road King Classic. Alright, so first we're going to start up here in the front. These are custom wheels. I do not know what they are because they were actually on the bike when I bought it. The chrome front end is actually the chrome front end off of my old bike because I kept the Legend suspension. I did add Hogwarts blinkers. They're white and then they go to amber for the blinkers. And while we're here, I did also add the Hogwarts headlights with the halos on them. I also did the headlight and the passing light nacelles. Uh, this complete this looks so much better than the stock look I believe it finishes out the nacelle more and it gives a little bit of more look to the passing lamp we also have a long ride windshield with the recurve at the top takes the wind takes it up over my head and over my helmet no wind buffeting whatsoever and you can have a shorter windshield moving on from there it ain't a touring bike without highway pegs and these are the highway pegs that I used to have the same collection on. And right now, the mirrors and the highway pegs are the only thing left on the bike from that collection. So moving up, we do have the uh, Empire grips in chrome. We also have the chrome master cylinders for the clutch and the brake. And the switch caps and the switch housings on both sides off. Moving up here, just like every single motorcycle in the country should have, an s, &S teardrop air cleaner. Moving down, we have the Thrash and Supply brake lever. I love this because it moves the brake pedal forward and the brake pedal down. I'm not bringing my knee up to my chest to try to get on the brake anymore. So moving on, the head pipe is a Vance and Hines head pipe, and I don't remember which one it is, guys, but it was on the bike when I bought it. What was not on the bike when I bought it was another channel sponsor of ours, Tab Performance 50 cal mufflers with the zombie baffles. There is not a better sounding exhaust out there. had some red spikes on that one <laughs> we also have the chrome fillers in between the saddlebags I was gonna put lights in there but honestly I think sometimes with lights less is more and I like this look better and it helps add the shine to the back of the bike which already is shiny up here it just kind of is connected now and flows down to the amazing huge 50 caliber tab performance exhaust We'll have the rock form phone mount best mount on the market just because i used to have the quad lock and it was black and that was the only black thing on my handlebars can't have that <laughs> so we now have the rock form phone mount i also have the harley davidson speedometer and analog tack the road kings do not come with a tachometer it's just a digital one I like to be able to just look down and glance at it this is also, you can change colors in that to any color that you want. Moving to the back, guys, these are Hogwarts blinkers and a Harley Davidson tail light because that's just the way that it is right now. I also have the Custom Dynamics brake switch underneath the seat. Makes it a little bit more noticeable when you're stopped at a stoplight. The more you can be seen, the better off you are. Also over here, I delete, I took off the running boards because Miss Stevie rides her own bike. She's in the, behind the camera right now. Miss Stevie rides her own bike. She doesn't ride with me very often. And I kept hitting these with my calf. The, I kept hitting the running boards with my, with my calf when I was backing up and stuff. Having just the highway peg makes it a lot easier to move the bike around. I also have the Lucky Dave's Get Lucky seat. Was going to go with the Saddleman step-up seat. The seat's just a little bit wider. And the, the curve is not as aggressive. And the back seat is a little bit, little bit thicker. 
but the back seat also has the same gel as the front seat so if a passenger does want to sit on this little 2x4 it'll uh, it'll worst case scenario Miss Stevie can ride with me if something happens or I can ride with her if I absolutely have to so I'm not a hundred percent sure but I believe that these handlebars are factory 47's they are 16 inch handlebars they were also on it when I bought it that may be changing in the future I also have a USB cord that I just kind of lay here in the saddlebag I just kind of pinched the cord <laughs> might come to bite me in the butt someday with the lid but um, that way I have a way to power and charge all the camera gear nine out of ten times it's usually Miss Stevie Senna because she forgets to charge it at home these are hard street shelves in my saddlebags I have one in this side and one in that side these actually they come apart and voila no more shelf you still have full use of your entire saddlebag nice when you go on vacations and then you just add this back in here and now you're done Another must is, uh, and I believe, because Harley suspension on these bikes anyway, uh, are crap. The Legend Revo A's on the back absolutely make the biggest difference in the world. So you compare the biggest bang for your buck, I believe, is the rear suspension. It is almost, I don't even know what the price is now with inflation anymore. It's probably around a thousand bucks for those back shocks, but it gets you the, it absolutely changes the ride of the motorcycle uh, 110 times percent for the better. But then you, so you get your ride by changing the rear shocks and then when you change the front suspension you get the handling out of it makes it feel like a completely different bike dipping and diving going through curves and stuff is so much better when you have the front suspension done also so moving up here i do have the thrash and supply front shifter peg these actually feel so much better and believe it or not these keep your feet cleaner when i do put my foot underneath there to shift this is the shorty heel shifter i can move my foot all the way back i can move my foot all the way back to the back now almost like a mid control and nine really honestly i ride like this most of the time either like this or somewhere here like this another nice thing about the m 2 floorboards i thought the spikes were going to be a problem they're not don't even feel them but you uh your foot doesn't move around on them at all you want to get it to move i'll show you guys here real quick while we're here this brake pedal no matter where I'm at and I'm down on it another nice thing about these floorboards when I ride with my foot up on my highway peg which I usually ride like this my foot slides right into that little hole there my notch and this right here is effortless I don't have to hold myself on or anything I am totally perfectly relaxed with my legs the more relaxed you are the farther you can go so in in this is this is a full stage one kit with a power vision air power vision I think a computer chip inside uh, which opens up the motor to a hundred percent instead of eighty percent which is what the stock tune has this bike now has 100 percent throttle huge shout out to Frontier Harley Davidson and El Jefe Motorcycle Co for helping us out the way that you guys do none of this would be possible without you but until the next one, guys, everybody stay cool, and we'll see you on the road.